All right, I'm going to show you how to connect to the Vive Hub. So from our home screen, we're going to go to Wi-Fi, and we're going to look for our Vive. It's going to be a Vive, and that's with a serial number. We're going to connect to that. And as we connect it, it's going to point out that we are not, we are not connected to the internet, which is fine. Um, that, that's correct. And once we're there, we're going to go to Safari and hit the address Vive, V-I-V-E, dot Lutron, dot com. Okay? And we're going to go to that website. Once we go, everything is self-contained in the hub. All right? It's going to ask us about whether we want to, we allow cookies or do we want to download the app or keep using the browser? We're going to keep using the browser. Now, from right here, it's going to show us the hub. It's going to show us it's flashing. So we want to make sure that we have the right hub. This is important if you have a hub with multiple projects. So you make sure you have the right one. And now we're going to rename it. I'm just going to call it uh, Vive. If I'm in an office, I want to label what it covers. So something like first floor east is what I called this. It's going to let me do that. Now I'm going to um, create a password for the hub. Um, tells you the requirements for the password. And we're going to have a hub that way you can connect it. This hub is not connected to a building network. Uh, it doesn't need to be. It's all self-contained. But again, we're, we're going to have that password just so that someone can't log in and adjust the lights. Now that we've created the password, it's going to take us out of that. Um, just hit cellular data here as well. Um, it's going to kick us out of the hub and ask us to re-enter the hub. I'll get more to that cellular data later. All right, so we just got to wait for the hub's going to reboot for that new password. And once we see it show up in our, in our Wi-Fi, we're going to go ahead and connect to it. So I'll just take another moment there. So there it is, five first floor east. And I'm going to show you something, um, the little eye to the right. We're going to turn off, um, oh, got to put the password in here. Let's connect to it. I'm waiting for it. Now I'm connected. So um, let's say your facility manager or an electrician that you're always in this building and you maybe have Wi-Fi, you're going to hit that little I button and we're going to turn off auto join. Okay. Just because we don't want to always connect to the system every time we walk in that building. Again, if you're using the Wi-Fi network for your email or your cell phone usage or something. All right. So now we're connected. We're going to go back to our home screen and then Safari. All right. Type in vive.luchon.com and it's going to bring us in here. Just a little reminder that we need to update our settings and our software. But now you're in the system. You can follow the instructions to go ahead and set everything up. I'm going to show you one other thing. Sometimes um, if you have trouble connecting with the Safari in the browser, you have to turn off your cellular data. Just a little tip that I've learned over the years. As always, thanks for watching. Vive Hub is very easy to set up. Everything's self-contained in it.